Fuck you guys. Um, Sony actually did have a very good question. First of all, I, first of all actually, I'm going to show you guys my rig, my full rig set up here. Um, I am currently running a Logitech G920. As you guys can tell right here, I run the Logitech G920. Great setup. Very good setup. I got gear shifter, which actually does double as a handbrake. But I prefer to use it for handbraking on certain games, like Dirt Rally 2.0. Um, I'll use it as a handbrake. I just go like that and I pull it back and put it back in. Um, I use it as a handbrake on uh, Car X. I love using it as a handbrake on Car X. It makes it very simple, very easy. Um, but somebody did actually have a question uh, for me that I do actually plan on answering, which is what force feedback level do I use? I actually use 110%. I use literally 100%, like legit 100% force feedback on every sim game that I have. The only one I don't use any force feedback on because it's not as realistic uh, is Dirt Rally 2.0. I like my cars to be, you know, light to where I can throw them around the corners. I can just rip that handbrake without the car rotating too much and the wheel getting that oscillation too much so I can have, you know, full control over how much angle I throw the wheel and throw back. Um, but other than that, I use force feedback on all my racing games, whether it's Horizon uh, 4, whether it's Horizon 1, uh, whether it's uh, Project Cars 2 like you guys just see me doing. You know, I do use 110% force feedback on all my racing games. So, yeah. And let me show, way, let me show you guys how the racing harness sets up. Now, as you guys may or may not see, I actually have it attached to the back right here by two clips on either side right here and then i did basically a rally cross style uh setup for throwing it on as you guys can see right here this is you know i have this put together so it's not all falling on my shoulders i got held together right there and then what i'll do is this you just take Throw it over your shoulders like this. And then. Attach it to my pants. Pull myself up and there you go. You got yourself a full on racing harness. So you see, if I'm racing and I hit something and my body jolts forward, I won't go into the wheel and smack in. It'll stop me right here and I can, you know, take my hands off the wheel and stuff. So, yeah, that's why I have this. And I do use it from time to time. I use it mostly... And with uh, Formula One, with F1 2020, because the way those cars get around and you smack into something, if you're not wearing, if you're not wearing some sort of you know racing harness like mine's a DIY racing harness, um, and if you're not wearing that, and you're doing F1 and you go into the wall doing, say 250 miles an hour, you're gonna your body's going to hit against the wheel, which I've had happen. I've had that happen, and it hurts. It sucks. I 
And then the brand of headphones I run are these, which are Turtle Beaches. This is what I run. I run Turtle Beach. Now, somebody did actually ask me an interesting question. I think it was yesterday when I was doing my guitar covers. Somebody asked me what brand of guitar and amp do I use? And, you know, what brand do I recommend starting out music-wise if you're trying to get into music? I personally use Glary. Um, they're not a very big brand, but what's interesting about Glary is they take name brand pickups and they'll use them on their guitars. Uh, like mine right here, the one, the pickup I have is actually a Stratocaster, which I love Strat. They're very good. I got a few friends that use them. But, um, right there, as you can see, the Glary logo right there. They're very good. Like, the sound quality that comes out of this thing is very good. Um, I do have a whammy bar. I just don't have it in, which I should probably do that. Yeah, I think I am going to put the whammy, the whammy bar in here because I do plan on using it during my next set. So, let's put this bad boy on. I've never actually really used this thing. Don't know why. It's those first few threads that you gotta get in there, and then once you get it, you can kind of you know, do your thing. And then the amp is actually the same uh, brand too. It's actually Glary as well. And I definitely do recommend Glary if you're starting out in stuff in guitar and you really want to, you know, take it seriously. I definitely do recommend them. They're very good. They're very well tuned right out of the gate. Uh, some aren't. There's been a couple that haven't been. But for the most part, you guys are getting a good guitar for a very good price, actually. Um, it's easy to do. It's just legitimately, you know, plug and play right out of the box. Um, I'm not running any pedals on the amp yet, even though I do want to. I would at some point like to, you know, run some effect pedals on this. Like, I think that would be really interesting to run some uh, pedal effects. Move that down here. And somebody did ask me on my Facebook, I don't know if they're on here, but somebody did ask me, do I use a specific uh, brand of guitar pick? No, I don't have a specific brand. But my personal favorite is this one right here. It's actually a matching pick for my guitar, which is a Sapphire Blue Chromacast. Uh, pick and I don't know if you guys can tell but this thing actually is you know deep sapphire blue it's got that nice sapphire blue tone to it so yeah matter of fact let me play a few tracks for you guys let me do a few covers for you guys so you guys can like actually hear the sound that comes out of it because a lot of people say, oh, you know, your your guitar's out of tune. No, it's not out of tune. It's actually my speaker on Chromebook. It doesn't actually pick up all the sounds that it should. Which kind of sucks.
cell with that man son. Let me show you just what this thing can do, y'all. Yo, Malvina, what up, man? Thank you. 
Hey, what's up, man? Um, I've actually been playing for quite a while. I've been playing for about 14 years. I got my first acoustic when I was a kid. Stern's imposter, because each one is so artfully constructed with quality craftsmanship and luxurious materials for stunning design and the resulting comfort. Stern's imposter, a mattress that looks as good as it feels.
New Febreze Unstoppable's Touch Fabric Spray. Just shout out to everybody watching, man. Touch activated scent technology. Hours or even days later, enjoy first freshness with every touch. For long lasting freshness, grab new Febreze Touch. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yo, dude, I'm doing good, Mr. Blank. I'm doing real good. Oh. Uh -huh. 
I've thought about it, but I kind of want to make it, you know, different things, you know? Like, sometimes I, you know, feel like sitting down and giving up. Sometimes I feel like doing music. Like, you know, doing a little bit of both. Stream 85 plus live channels with no hidden fees. YouTube TV, try it free. How many of you guys remember this song? Oh, that was my name. Thank you. 
Hold up. Can you train me with a talk show with Lil Nas X? Boom. And nothing about me. Let's talk about Lex. Are you seeing this? There's no reason to wake up. You swing the stage together.
85 years, it's just about time, you know. It means experience. If I told you I'd been drawing raspberry preserves for 85 years, you'd be like, that's got to be some scrumptious jam. Geico. Thank you. 
Say I can't play. Try me now. I think I just proved my point. <laughs> 